G'day guys, my name is Huey Liu and I'm a Senior Services Architect based out of the Melbourne CA office. And today we're going to talk about Site Minor Concepts. Let's set the scenario up. We have Application A and Application B. Application A's idle timeout is set to 30 minutes and its max timeout is set to 2 hours. Application B being more secure has an idle timeout of 15 minutes and a max timeout of 1 hour. If a user first logs into application B, its idle timeout will be set to 15 minutes and its max timeout will be set to 1 hour. In a single sign-on scenario, if the user then moves to application A, the idle and max timeouts do not change, they remain at 15 minutes and 1 hour respectively. This is the default behaviour. So what happens if the user first logs on to application A? The user's timeout values will be set to 30 minutes idle and 2 hours max. In the same single sign-on scenario, if the user then moves to application B, again, its idle and max timeouts do not change. So in this case, it can be considered insecure, as we're going from a more lax timeout setting to a more stringent timeout setting from application A to application B. So the solution to this is to change the idle and max timeouts as we move from application A to application B. And to do this we use site minor responses. Timeout values for additional applications through single sign-on will still be governed by the session that was established at the initial login of the first application. To override the timeout values, we need to do four things. Firstly, we need to set the Enforce Realm Timeouts parameter in the Agent Configuration object. Second step is to set the Web Agent on Auth Accept Session Max Timeout Response attribute. This value will be in seconds. If we wanted to change the idle timeout, we have to set the Web Agent on Auth Accept Session idle timeout response. This value is also in seconds. Finally, we need to bind the responses to the on auth accept rule. The web agent on auth accept session idle timeout overrides the number of seconds a user's session can be idle. After this limit is reached, the user is forced to re-authenticate. Associate the response with a rule configured with an on auth accept authentication event. The web agent on auth accept session max timeout overrides the total number of seconds a user session can be active. Again, after this limit is reached, the user session will be terminated and the user is forced to re-authenticate. Associate this response with a rule configured with an on auth accept authentication event. Timeouts are an important security feature by limiting the maximum time an application can be accessed and the maximum time a page can stay inactive. It's about limiting the window of opportunity. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the CA Learning site.